Delhi-based grade 10 students are busy revising their biology basics in their after-school tuition classes. What do you know about Darwin? Who was Darwin? He was the father of evolution. Exactly. But their biology textbooks do not mention the father of evolution. The entire chapter on the topic has been cut from the grade 10 syllabus by the Hindu nationalist government. This biology teacher continues to teach Charles Darwin's theory using an old syllabus available on the internet. In the long term, this step will be problematic for students, especially for those who want to apply to medical school and have to sit their entrance exams. It'll be confusing because when they reach 12th grade, they'll suddenly have to deal with an entire chapter on evolution. The purging of textbooks is not limited to the field of science. Chapters in Mughal history covering hundreds of years of Muslim rule, references to the links between Hindu extremism and the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi have either been watered down or completely deleted. According to political commentator Purvanand, the Modi government wants to impose its Hindu nationalist vision on the country. The Bharatiya Janata Party wants to propagate a nationalist ideology according to which everything which defines India has to be Hindu. You remove the portions dealing with the period where Muslims were in power. So textbooks have been um, sanitized to present a particular view of Indian society, which is very harmonious. The textbook revisions came into effect in April this year on the orders of the National Council for Educational Research and Training, the authority in charge of the curricula. While the reason given for the culling of the syllabi was to reduce the workload of students returning to physical classes after two years of school closures during the COVID-19 epidemic, the chairman of the University Grants Commission justifies the move. India is a democratic country and we have the opportunity to write and interpret the history the way we want. Therefore, we need to write our books in such a way that it promotes integrity and unity of India. In that context, uh, I think uh, we have a uh, responsibility to project our history in a positive way. This political interference in education has left many academics uneasy. In Kolkata and West Bengal, Sumitra Banerjee and Partha Majumdar are part of an organization that encourages the study of science and the cultivation of logical thinking in schools. When the textbook alterations were announced, the group drafted a petition. When it went to the press, we had about 1,800 uh, signatories. But subsequently, now the number is more than 6,000. Their petition deplores a fresh attack on scientific thinking already undermined by India's ruling Hindu nationalist government. In India, we have the additional problem of willful propagation of unscientific ideas from people in power. Many of the people in the government have in the past said that in ancient India, there was aircraft. Individual belief is one thing. But if that comes to the education system, then we have objection. Since April, volunteers of the organization have been visiting private and public schools around India to teach the scientific oh, chapters wow. removed by the yeah. government. They've not faced any trouble or had their actions questioned by the authorities. In this school, BSS members delve into the formation of the earth and the evolution of life. Engrossed in the presentation, the students burst into questions. If the earth was a ball of fire initially, then how did the first rain occur? How was rain created? Before, we didn't know how the earth was created and how our skeletons evolved to become what we are today. I learned all of that today thanks to this initiative. The moment we see the glitter in their eyes, our hearts become so happy. When we come to these schools and see younger generation is interested, they understand something, they ask questions, and they go to back to their, to their homes, convey these ideas to their parents, their friends, then we see that there is some success. These academics are determined to fight for science. They say they will continue to teach the deleted curricula in schools until the government backs down.